Hey, all right then, welcome to another weekend on Luna. Um, so I've just been cracking on with to a bit more wiring. No surprise there, right? But um, so I'm just making wiring looms to run to because I'm putting on nav lights, uh, tunnel light, which is the light bar. Uh, no, the uh, two crossovers, and then the light bar. I'm putting them on some switches near throttle on stern. Um, but it's like, I've, well, when I've measured it up, um, I can't just extend wire from here to stern because it's going to add somewhat like an extra to get there and back. Uh, it's going to add some. Hey, all right then. Um, yeah, so basically to do, um, to add the switches on stern, we're going to add another like eight metres of uh, cable because it's about four metres plus. It's probably more actually. Um, I've made lo loans up, but I can't find the tape measure, so I don't know because I've just done them with. I've just like placed them in place. First one worked out how long it needs to be, and then uh, done it that way. Um, so it, it's like it's probably there and back. Probably going to be somewhere in the region of nine meters, uh, but if you take consideration, I've sized my cables for the length, um, and then to add another nine meters, it were going to drop them all. It'd still have been all right, but it's it's one of them. It, it's like I don't want to drop on voltage calculator that I'm using. I'm trying to keep everything, you know, at a reasonable uh, a reasonable drop. You're gonna have voltage drop, whatever you do, unless you, unless you spend a million pound on cabling, and put some stu real stupid sized cables through the boat. You're gonna have voltage drop. Simple as. Um, but a certain percentage, a couple of percent, you know, like half a volt, um, it's acceptable. You know, so that's pretty much what it is. Um, so what I've done is, uh, rather than running the like for the yarn say i've just put some more relays in so all i'm doing is just putting a a wire there and back to switch that will just throw the relay um it's the easiest way of doing it and then i'm not uh, i'm not interfering with any of my cable lengths so that's uh, that's pretty much what i'm doing today um a couple of things uh comments off at of viewers um now then I'm not sure right so yeah thanks for comment on ac2 outlet for solar dumping um I'd, I'd seen it but i'd never really bothered thinking shall i do it or whatever anyway i've looked into it and the ac2 on the multi plus because i don't know what unit you've got i know you've said you've got a five hundred five thousand um so it's 24 48 volt unit whichever one it is but anyway on the um, 3000 multi 2 the ac2 outlet does um it's factory programmed that when you go on to solar uh, on to shore power it does come live um so what i'm doing but you can also program it that it comes live off the inverter um, so you can do it a couple of, you know so you can program it a few ways apparently um, so but so basically I'll be going AC to up to the consumer unit where I've got I've just got another uh, an M it's one of it's one of trips 16 amp trip but with a RCD built into it. I forget now just what they call them. RBOs and anyway. Um so that I'm gonna wire it in, so then I'm gonna go AC2 up to that and then back down to my fuel spur and then to the uh clodifier immersion heater. Uh, that way that if it's shore power, it'll come, it'll get powered from AC2. And then once my batteries get up to like 
I can program them. If I'm not on shore power, that is, I can have them so it's programmed so it'll solar dump. Um, you know, so that's uh, but that's something that uh, I will be doing. But probably just put plate wires in place, and then I've got to get uh, unit programmed or look at how to program it, whatever. So, right, that clears that up. Hopefully. Oh, other thing. Um, Dave from Narrowboat Misfit. Yes, uh, you comment on the earthing. So, the MPPTs, the casing is earthed. The MultiPlus 2, the casing's earthed. The Orions don't have a casing earth. The new Orion XSs, 12 volt uh, DC DC chargers. Um, and the 240 volt out of the consumer units so they're all coming to one point that will be then on a bus bar a separate bus bar to Lynx distributor that then basically will run to the uh, boat hole in engine bay so that ties that up hopefully <laughs> but thanks for the comment <laughs> right anyway I'll crack on and uh, we'll uh, See if I can get these, if it stopped raining, I'll get these run. But, right, I'll fetch you back in a bit. Uh, so, um, I've eventually got everything wired that uh, that I'm happy with up here at a minute. Um, I've just to put out covers, cut out covers and to put them on light. Um, there's just one thing that I'm just wiring in that I'd forgotten about. Um, Basically, the multi two has got a trickle charge outlet on for charging your start battery. Um, it's supposed to be four amp, but I'm not sure because I've seen it has been four amp, but I've also some seen somebody do a test of it, and it was point zero, no point point four amp, which is like half an amp. Uh, but in saying that, half an amp. Um, it's enough to, you know, over a long period, uh, it's enough to uh, just maintain battery, you know, start a battery. Um, it's not massive amount, but it's, uh, you know, but if it is 4 amp, but anyway, um, I'll know once I've got it, I can't see how, you know, for definite, but a dealer's told me that it is 4 amp. Um, but what I've done is, so, or what I'm going to do is, so it's just one one cable uh, that I'm going to run up and then I'm going to put a, just a little on off switch with a LED light on um, so that'll just, well if it's lit LED it's charging, you know, it's trickle charging to start battery um, and if I don't want it I can turn it off because basically it is using power out at lithium setup um, so, you know, it, but then again, it's not, uh, there's that much power there, should be all right, shouldn't be a problem. But if there is anyway, I can turn it off. So, so that's what I'm doing. Um, so I need a bit of... switch that I've got though takes the smaller spade and I ain't got any insulated ones so I'll have to put some heat shrink on them. But not over there. So I've got the um, trickle charge put in, so just basically a live 
off at uh, output on inverter comes up to switch uh, it's one that lights up so I had to run an earth to it and then down and then to the isolator uh, yeah you should be able to see to isolator that's then gonna run off to uh, to start a battery for to, that's gonna that supplies the uh, ions um, so basically that's straight back to the battery um, I think it's 50 yeah, 50 mil cable or something like that 50 60 mil cable so it's it's well of a kill for the job um, yeah so that'll then trickle charge to that point and then off to the battery um, which basically I've only got it set lights up at a minute because it's not connected up to it but um, right so I'm going to cut out covers for these now um, and I've also got the AC2 just to wire in a bit I'll have to do a bit of altering but uh, so, right, I'll fetch you back in a bit. Yeah, right then. Right, so I've got uh, I've got cover cut for it all. Um, I've put some of it on. That one I want to do on that, but I'll put this one and this one on. Um, so yeah, it's just a matter of pulling it, hooking it on one side. But it's like if you miss a bit, you have to take it all back off. <laughs> Like there, I missed all them up top. on quite impressed actually my said because it uh, it does neaten it up mass because there's not really a lot I mean I know there'll be somebody out there <laughs> that does it as a professional job that could have got all these cables run perfectly all neat and we aren't using any tray but uh, it's like I suppose that's somebody like that's probably been doing job like 20 years or something this piece to go across bottom but I've still put some uh, some bits in that yet like so right anyway I think that's proper improvement uh, meaning it's all done as well on that side now until I decide I want to add some else and I'll pull it all back off but it is what it is um, right so that's it anyway I'll crack on and uh, find something else to do and uh, I'll see you in a bit Alright then, so I'm just uh, putting main fuses onto the batteries. Um, just got some mega fuse holders. Um, I crimped some cables up during the week at home because I just needed them with to speed job up a bit. I did have some rubber boots for them, but then before you know, like 90 degree, uh, and I've got these facing up, so I'll have to get some other type or something.
right. So that's that done. Like I said, I just need to get some. Uh, I need to get some rubber boots for these. Take them back off and just pull them all out or whatever. I'll just tape them up. I don't know yet. Um, so that's that. Um, I don't know if I showed it earlier, but that's me uh, buzz bar for my negatives. Um, that's 40B, I think it's 40B6 copper. Uh, tin coated so that'll drill I'll have to drill that and then put some 8mm bolts in it um, but I saw that tomorrow so that's it it's all coming on now right so I'm just running to lives yeah I know the black but it's only cable I could get my hands on at rate money <laughs> um, but um, so yeah, I've just got to, I've got three in so far, and then they're just going to run to battery isolator switches up there. She's eating his foxy. Oh my god, look at that. Yo! That's mad. What is? All that. need to do now is just carry on neaten them all up run them across to, isol to isolators um, then I've got I've got a buzz bar to do I think I might have shown that uh, tin coated copper uh, that's gonna run that's gonna come here and then up, up to negatives we uh, Anyway, yeah, and then just straight off to to shunt. Uh, well, right. Anyway, right then. So that's pretty much it this week. Um, got quite a bit done. Um. Well, that's it now for wiring for a for a week or two. <laughs> so had enough. Move on to some woodwork or some probably box. Get this finished and box it in next week. Um, now I can start on. I've got steps to make. All this box to make. Um, load of trimming to do. Painting. It's getting there now. There's. Uh, it's coming to an end. Sorta of, maybe. Right, anyway, if you like it, like and subscribe. If you hit bell, you'll get notified when I put a new video on. Um, and uh, we'll see you next week and tick a few more boxes. Right, see you later. Thanks, bye.